Hey, what up everyone? I'm Senny Cool, and this is Gems of War. And today I have your spoilers for the upcoming week of October 23rd, 2023. So let's get started. PC, Mobile, Xbox, and PlayStation, then we'll do Nintendo Switch. Uh, let's go right here. Going back and forth with the way I do this, um, I feel like this way you can see anywhere else, and the other way... It is, you can't see the pictures. and so There's something wrong with either way I do it. So I'm going to go back and forth for a little bit. Monday, October 23rd. We have Underspire for Drifting Sands. We also have a Raid Boss all week. That's the Zulgoth where you get the troop that can one-shot Zulgoth. Uh, they're going to give you the troop you need in the shop. And then you get extra points and extra magic for using that troop. And the shiny keys if you get the extra points. Tuesday Faction Assault is the Deep Hive. Wednesday Pet Rescue is Frank and Kitty. Might be a new one. Thursday Class Event is Dervish. Friday Vault Event. Woohoo! So, I need to do a Gems of War After Dark this month, and there isn't very many dates left, and it's probably going to have to be Friday or Saturday. So let me know in the comments if you really care. Uh, if you're going to be there, let me know and like tell me which day. Like, I can be there Friday, but I can't be there Saturday. If you have that kind of thing going on, maybe even Sunday night I could do, possibly. But I have to get up early Monday, so it's way worse. Uh, but if I have to. Uh, one of the days is probably Halloween. I guess that's Tuesday, though. But yeah, this upcoming weekend would probably be the best time to do the After Dark, because there's a vault event. So, let me know which day works for you, especially you know who's out there. All my uh, real ones. Um... So, yeah, we got a Drifting Sands week. Let's check it out. And Drifting Sands troops. I'm just going to look at it. Uh, this is what I do for Switch. Try not to, you know, anyway. Scorpius is okay. Good with your rally. And the Great Maw is an okay legendary. He's, he works good with CT and uh, as a substitute for High King Iron Gut. But I don't think I'd throw uh, event keys for it. And that's what we're looking at here. Should you or should you not throw event keys for uh, this kingdom? So it's Scorpius. It's the Great Maw. I don't see anything else. And it probably takes just as long to do this than as it does to just to read them all. But uh, I don't like Shabana Vespera. Other people do. So she's there also, just by the way. Weapons. Dancing Daggers is a weapon you're going to get from the Dervish class. You don't want to, like, craft it or anything. I don't even know if you can, but you should get that by equipping Dervish and winning 250 victories. Really easy if you just go to Explore 1 with your Rowan team and equip Dervish. You can get Dancing Daggers, which is a good weapon. It's along the lines of Black Manacles and Dawnbringer and stuff like that. Where you, That's when you would use it. Doomed Axe is very good. Along with Scorpius, it's probably the best thing here. Doomed Axe. Best yellow doomed weapon in the game. And I just clicked all the way out of weapon. Or all the way out of there. Great job. Had a kind of a bad day yesterday, y'all. And if I sound a little bit different, it's multiple things. But doomed axe and uh, Scorpius, yeah. I don't think I see anything else. Okay. And, uh, okay, so we did the... Blah, blah, blah. Let's go check out the new troops. If I can hit the right button. Troop spoilers. PC, Mobile, Xbox, PlayStation. On Monday, October 23rd, 2023, from Drifting Sands, we're getting Horn Wing hanging on those margaritas. Arcane Mountain, base rarity, epic, troop type monster, troop roll striker. Looks like this. It's a dinosaur. Swooping Strike is the spell. Deal magic plus four damage to an enemy. If they are a boss, deal three times to five times damage based on my ascensions. Destroy seven random gems. It's always nice to have that extra thing on the end of those spells. It's really boring just to one-shot the boss. It ha if it has something else going for it, I like that. It just makes it a little bit better. Shiny Spell is the same thing, except for it destroys nine random gems. Mana color yellow-brown, mana cost 12. Trait number one is Monster Bond. Trait number two is Armor Piercing. That's a 50% chance to ignore armor with Skull Damage. Trait number three is God Slayer. That's what makes it uh, do extra Skull Damage versus bosses. Which isn't something really worth thinking about because most of the time it's going to have, you know, always it's going to have three other troops in front of the boss. So you should never put the Raid troop in first slot, in my opinion. Unless it does something like it has Enrage or something like that. Because... 
You're never it, three of the enemies are going to be not a boss, not a god, not a boss. Uh, also on Monday from Drifting Sands, we're getting Mantis Mage Operation Desert Swarm. Arcane Venom base rarity ultra rare troop type Wild Folk Mystic troop roll generator. Looks like that. Looks like something from the Ninja Turtles. Desert Swarm is the they just Operation Desert Swarm, and then the spell is called Desert Swarm. Create eight brown gems and eight yellow gems. Mana color green, purple mana cost nine. Trait number one, Wild Folk Bond. Trait number two, Armored, 25%. Trait number three is Air Link. That's yellow mana from yellow gem matches. Bonus. Uh, you know, that sounds like something else we already have. Uh, and that's it. So, this guy, a little bit better than usual for a boss killer. It's a little bit extra on, a little bit of uh, extra stank on it. Uh, weapon spoilers. On Monday, October 23rd from, uh, Drifting Sands, we have Emerald Baton. Rarity Legendary Weapon Type Mace Weapon Roll Striker. Looks like that. Uh, for the people that are just listening, it's a mace with a green, like, inlay type of thing. It's gold. Should be describing that stuff. Mana Color Green Red, Mana Cost 14. Spell is Emerald Baton. I always say that, dude. That's just the name of the weapon. It's not the name of the spell, you dummy. Explode magic plus one brown gems. Grant a random status effect to all Drifting Sands allies and summoning Drifting Sands troop. I guess they're not done with those yet. Which is good. I like those. Remember how there was like zero explodies for which... What was was that Kitar or Gulvania? One of the two? That was kind of annoying. So there's, I guess they're still putting them into the game. It has armored. Gain four armor. Leeching. Steal two mana from the first enemy. Striking. Deal five damage to the first enemy. And stun. Stun the first enemy. It's an explodey. You should get it just to have it if you can. You're going to be doing the event anyway. I say this every single time. Um, also on Monday from Drifting Sands, we're getting the Time Keeper. I think that's from the campaign. Rarity Legendary Weapon Type Relic Weapon Roll Assassin. It's like a watch. Blue Green, 14 mana cost. Deals magic plus 3 damage to an enemy. Boosted by Hourglass Gems. Magical. Gain 1 magic. Enchant myself. Deal 5 scatter damage. Drain 3 mana from the first enemy. And that is it. We're going to be getting some uh, cool hourglass stuff pretty soon during this campaign. So watch out for, uh, like, the Mythic, for example. There's some other troops coming in. Look out for those hourglass mechanics. That's basically an extra turn. Uh, we'll click on this stuff just to click on it. Midnight looming. The thing right now is called Countdown to Midnight. There it is, midnight, December 11th. We might be getting an update next week. Just want to say that before I get totally done with PC, Mobile, Xbox, and PlayStation, where you just totally stop listening when I start doing Switch. Um, we may have an update next week. I mean, Halloween is coming very soon, and they have to put it into the game. So they have to take the game down. They have to do an update. And um, so I'm pretty sure they're going to do the 7.2. Remember the spoiler video? If you haven't seen it yet, I did a... A sneak peek 7.2 update spoiler thing where the developer t was talking about the, the next update. And I did my commentary and my reaction to it. But you get to see the whole video in there as well. It's like a 3 minute and 30 second video. If you missed it, go check it out. Um, but yeah, there was a sneak peek to the 7.2 update. Which means it's probably happening soon. And that plus Halloween coming soon is like double... You can double down on it. That it's probably happening next Tuesday. Maybe... Monday, maybe Wednesday. They never know what they're doing, so it's coming next week sometime. I just gotta look at the website. 24 hours a day. Uh, pet spoilers. On Wednesday, October 25th, 2023, from Galvania, we have Frank and Kitty, Halloween 2023. Looks really cool. It's a uh, patchwork Frankenstein kitty cat. It's green. Pet color brown effect cosmetic. Is that not? What about October 30th? Oh, that's Monday. Never mind. And then Max Kingdom Power. Barely ever care about this, but I always talk about it. On the 23rd. Oh, wow. What was that? This is cool. Hopefully that's not nothing you guys can do anything with. <laughs> um, 23rd of October. Drifting Sands Kingdom Power goes to 28. Um, 
Somebody can let me know in the comments. I don't know what the heck that was. I clicked on something, obviously. I think that's everything. So, yeah. Next week is Vault Event. Next week is Halloween. Next week is a uh, uh, probably an update. Those are the most important things happening. Scorpius, Doomed Axe, uh, Raid Event. Let's go. Appreciate y'all. Uh, shout out to um, Sana. Shout out to Anya. And shout out to Dervicious. Those are the last three members that I know for sure joined up on their own without getting gifted. I love the gifted stuff. It just makes it more. There's not. It's like I haven't. It's not like I don't want to shout people out. It's just like ever since Gifted happened, it's harder to keep track of who is joining up on their own and who is getting gifted. So that's the reason I haven't been shouting people out. It's not because I'm lazy or don't appreciate it. I really do. It's just really hard to tell who is doing what. And there's no – they should add that into YouTube. They need to tell me this person joined up on their own and this person got gifted. It, it, I wish they would. Um – because gifting is random. Like, the person that gives the gift is the one doing something. The other person is just receiving a gift. So I don't want to shout out the person receiving a gift unless they re-up. And the person that deserves the shout out is the person that gave the gifted. But it doesn't tell me who gave the gifted, but it it just tells me who joined, who's the new member. I mean, I know when it happens, and I definitely say thank you when it happens. So it's not like I never say thank you, but it's hard to tell, basically. And I know that Sana, uh, Dervicious, and Anya joined up on their own they were the last three and let's get back on this let's let's try to figure it out um also people giving super thanks i need to get back on there's no excuse for that one so chad is given clip bomb is given lots of super thanks i think uh faceless one is given super thanks there's been other people those are the two i can remember right now maybe trey um glorfindel possibly uh so really appreciate it sorry i haven't been shouting those out as much uh you know it's hard but let's move on to Nintendo Switch. We're going to do it really fast. Let's yeah, let's like set a new record. News upcoming spoilers for the week of October 23rd, 2023 for Nintendo Switch. Let's go. You guys have Tower of Doom. It is brown. You have Underspire for Nexus. You have Faction Event, Umbral Nexus. You have Pet Rescue, Alabrige from Suncrest. Thursday, Class Event is Elementalist. And Friday, you have Arena. All right, so the week, you have Nexus week, it looks like. Usually you can tell by looking at what class you're getting. So for the Nexus, what troops are worth going after? Really nothing. It's a newer, it's a freaking newer kingdom, so you're not going to, I mean, King Heliodor's okay, but he's single target damage. Aquaria's okay if you have, like, Aquaticus and Osha's Tome and the Raji Queen all together. Then it's not even one of the best teams in the game. It's just a neat team. Um, so nothing really there that I can tell. Queen Ash and King Heliodor are decent together. Weapons. Osha's Tome is good. Keep an eye out for this. You'll use it quite a bit. And I did that again. I can't believe it. Now I'm on Umbral Nexus. Trying to go fast, just uh, say you're going fast, and then you'll go slow. Umbral Tome, is that the one? I always get these mixed up. No, that's not the one. Anyway, I think that's about it. Now I'm taking way too much time. Yeah. So look out for Osha's Tome, pretty much, is the story. And uh, let's do your new troops. Come on, why do I gotta click this twice every single time? What are you doing? Come on. On Monday, October 23rd, 2023, from Nexus, we have Doomed Gargoyle, Stone by Day, Warriors by Night, Arcane Lava, Base Rarity Epic, Troop Type Elemental Construct, Troop Roll War Master. There's your Gargoyle. Doom Stone is the spell. Convert a chosen mana gem to an uber Doom Skull. Mana color red brown. Mana cost twelve. Kind of reminds me of what's that troop that converts? Uh, oh, what is it? Anyway, you know what I mean. Converts something to a, a skull. It's like that. Trait number one is Stone Heart. Trait number two is Born of Stone. Trait number three is Stone Skin. I'm so good at that. When somebody else is doing that, I know exactly the troop. But when I'm doing it, I don't know. I forget. Also on Monday from Nexus, you're getting Queen Ash. She's good. She's decent. She wants she wants break free. She wants break free. Arcane Shield, base rarity legendary, troop type elemental, troop row warrior. It's um whatever. 
Graven Seal is the spell. Deal magic plus four heavy splash damage to the second to last enemy. Boosted by brown gems and allies. Pull them to the front, then create three elemental stars. Mana color, blue-brown. Mana cost, 18. Trait number one is Born of Stone. Trait number two is Stone Skin, 50%. Trait number three is Blessing of Rock. Give two magic to all elemental allies and matching brown gems. So she's weird in that she can have... You can cast her and she can do nothing. If there's nothing in the second to last uh, slot, she'll do nothing. Or she'll create three elemental stars or something. She won't do what you want her to do. But she works in the beginning of battles, and you got to pair her with something else that can... Like King Heliodor, because she'll move them to the front, and then you can hit them with King Heliodor. Now she's okay, she's okay. Doomed Gargoyle we never use. Uh, Queen Ash we use sometimes. Weapon spoilers. On Monday, October 23rd, 2023, from Nexus, you're getting Doomed Tonto. Rarity Doomed, Weapon Type Dagger, Weapon Roll Assassin. Not something you're looking forward to, but grab it if you can while you're doing the event. Mana color brown, mana cost 18. The spell is deal magic plus 4 damage to the last enemy, boosted by brown gems. If they have a doom, deal double damage. There's a 3% chance per tempering level to kill the enemy. It has gain 2 attack, stun the first enemy, deal 5 damage to the last enemy, create a dust storm, and drain 2 mana from brown enemies. Not a good doomed weapon. They will force you to use it, though. If they're doing that on Switch 2... If you're getting the shiny keys and the doomed uh, in the uh, Tower of Doom, you're going to have to use that weapon. So just use it. Make a three-person team and then put that on the bottom is, is the best way to do it. Or you put it on the top to be a damage sponge and a tank. You just never want to use the weapon as the spell. You're using it as like a dingleberry on the bottom of your team or a, man, or a damage sponge on the top of your team. Let's click on this just to click on everything like always. November 24th. Ooh, we have a date now for Spirit Walker Talker Caller. Do we always have a date? I don't know. I forget. Um, I just clicked on that. I'm dumb. Nothing there yet, though. And Wednesday, October 25th, 2023, from Suncrest, you're getting Alabrige from for Halloween 2022. I'm probably saying that wrong. It's a very colorful dog with wings. Like a wiener dog. Wiener. Pet color yellow. Effect cosmetic. Max Kingdom Power. On the 23rd, Nexus Kingdom Power goes to 15, and that is all. So yeah, Switch. Um, the Nexus sucks, because it's a newer kingdom, so there's not much there. But look out for Osha's Tome. Um, the Tower of Doom, I think you have a brown brown Tower of Doom, so use brown troops, so like Chalcedony is a good option. Um, yeah, that's all I got for you. Like, share, subscribe, sit, or joining helps a lot to hear. Get up on the channel, comment below, and I will see y'all next time. Peace.